Another reason why I was really intrigued to work on Once My Mother with Sophia is because she's a drama director. She's worked in drama all her life. And although I've done some drama, I've mostly worked in documentary. So I was, I was fascinated to see how, uh, with Once My Mother, she would bring a drama sensibility and that storytelling into a documentary. I realised that this story just had to be documentary rather than uh, fictionalising my mother's story, uh, because I think that's the power of it, that you know that this is a real person and these things really happen to her. Uh, if I'd fictionalised it, I could have told a story um, uh, in a way that might have been, you know, interesting. Uh, but I think the, the, the power, I hope, of my story is its authenticity. Viewers will have to uh, decide with Once My Mother whether they feel that it's, it, it, there's, a, there's a sense of a, a drama director behind it. I'm not sure that it's obvious, but we have brought in some elements of dramatisation, recreation in a fairly restrained way. It's not heavily uh, recreated, there's not a lot of drama or a lot of actors in it. It's mostly uh, what I would call a pure documentary. But there are elements of visualisation which I think Sophia has brought in with her drama background to Once My Mother.